Nevertheless, President also charged members of the community to utilize their findings to propose robust and sustainable solutions to prevent future occurrences of economic sabotage in the petroleum sector. Chairman of the community and Senate leader, Senator Bamdele, assured that the community would approach its work with professionalism, integrity, balance, commitment and impartiality. He pledged that the community would work diligently to accomplish its assignments within the given time frame in order to justify the confidence reposed in them. The Senate Ad Hoc Committee is tasked with investigating alleged economic sabotage in the petroleum sector. Federal government has reassured Nigerians of its commitment to utilizing the 6.2 trillion naira in additional budgetary expenditure aimed at stimulating the economy through various infrastructure projects in the 2024 fiscal year. Here's the report. In his opening address, the chairman has committed on appropriations and able Abubakar Bichi, tax minister, to give details on the appropriation bill including the 3.2 trillion naira capital expenditure increase and 3 trillion naira recurrent expenditure for the newly proposed national minimum wage transmitted by Mr. President for as we waited consideration. So today we are here uh, with the Honorable Minister uh, budget to shed more lights in respect of the 2024 renewed health infrastructure funds as well as the, the recurrent submission by the Mr. President from what we have, we have the total of 6.2 trillion which is 3 trillion recurrent and 3.2 trillion capital increase from the existing 27 point at 28.7 trillion we passed in 2024 budget. Minister of Budget and National Planning, Senator Abubakar Bagudu, gave the assurance while addressing the House of Representatives Committee on Appropriation chaired by Honorable Abubakar Bichi that the present administration will do all it can to ensure that they address infrastructural deficit. The number the second project is Badagri, Tinkan Port, Lekki Port, Ijebu, De Kajola. The third one is Lagos Ibadan Standard Garage. Then the fourth one is Kano Maradi Standard Gauge, as well as count funding for rolling stock that is required. This, the 530 billion requested is for these five rail projects. The lawmakers who applauded the effort of the present administration towards addressing the infrastructural deficit harped on the need to address issues of insecurity, among other issues. Can you please highlight the sources to fund this budget? Only by SSA was excluded, knowing the importance and the economic contribution of the SSA towards this country. I was a bit shocked. So, Mr. Chairman, please. They should include Raisa, please. While responding to inquiries, Mr. Bagudu noted that various efforts have been made to address issues bordering on security of lives across the country. He explained that the proposed $3.2 trillion renewed hope infrastructure fund was intended to provide equity contributions or counterpart contributions of the federal government project. Honorable from Bayaza, the Lagos, the Lagos uh, Calabar Postal Road, which to address Bayelsa, one of the, the design include a rail corridor so that those three, nine, sorry, nine states will also have a rail link. How is it suspected to pass the amendment act on Tuesday or Wednesday from the National Assembly, Greece, EK, ADBN News.